Shopify Featured Slider Tutorial. So hi guys, so we are back again to our quick and easy video tutorial on how to create a featured slider on Shopify. So with no further ado, let's get started. So what you want to do is to go to your browser and type in your Shopify account. And if you have an account, you could log in. And if you do not have, then you could sign up. And it is actually for free. You could sign up for free. And all you have to do is to answer the questions and verify your email address. And after that, you will be directed here to your Shopify homepage. And for today, um, before we really dive into this, I just want to have a, a little background on what this Shopify is. So Shopify is a complete e-commerce platform that lets you start, grow, and manage a business. So the subscription-based software allows anyone to set up an online store and sell their products without having any code knowledge, like coding knowledge. And for today, as I have said, we are going to have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a featured slider. So a featured slider is a slideshow displaying product images and details for website visitors to scroll through. So product sliders allow you to showcase multiple products at once and feature related products and make it easier for your visitors or customers to browse onto your online store. Now in using Shopify, now let's get into it or let's get started. So here you will see this setup here. So on the left side, you will see here the sales channel and under that you will see the online store. So you click online store and click on themes. So here you'll see done and then you will see actions and customize. So you may want to go to actions. So before that, in creating a featured slider, you will have to do a coding here. But do not be discouraged after hearing coding because I will give you the link where you could copy and paste all the codes and basically that's just it so you don't have to have a prior knowledge about codings and many more so you click on actions here and if you want to duplicate your coding area then you could do that so that in case you messed up you could delete that and you still have your original copy or just basically dive into the coding so you will click on edit code so here you will see this setup here. So you'll see these files here. You'll see layout, templates, sections, snippets, assets, configurations, and locals. So all you have to do is to click on your templates here. So all you have to do is to click on your layout and under layout, you click theme liquid and it will direct you here so what you want to do is to scroll all the way down up until you see this body text here now above that body text you could click here and press on enter and this will be the space where we will paste the code so what you want to do is to go here we have the space bin dot com so don't worry i will give you this link down below so here as you can see theme liquid then make sure to read up the flickety licenses so we will be using the flickety um it is actually a featured slider so we will use flickety and here you will see under six and seven you will copy that so let's just copy then basically paste it here so after pasting the theme liquid here all you have to do is to go to your templates and add a new template here so you could create a new template for let's say collection and then just template type liquid and this is how your file name will look like or this is your file name will be and then create template and it will give you an empty space where you could paste or input your code so you go back here to the paste bin and under number 79 you will find here schema so all you have to do is to copy and paste up until the end schema here so let's say copy then 
paste and basically this is how the code will look like and this codes will actually help you customize more your shop so it will look more professional and very appealing to the customers so it's like you are really into this and you have a lot of knowledge about creating your store so you click on save here so what you want to do next is to go to your online store here again customize and here you will see your store so if your customers will visit your store this is what they will see and if you go here to your featured collections you could add your featured collections there and here if you add a section for your store you could have a blog post and then here you can see custom liquid so then you could add more spaces for your products and you could showcase multiple products that you have at once and the products that are related and a featured slider is a visual aid um it's like a little bit like a small slideshow for your products where you could put your different products that are actually on trend then basically it will like slideshow they could click on it swipe through it and it gives your store a more professional look and therefore it helps increase the customer's interest and a connection and conversation between your store and the customer so the feature slider is a very simple and responsive app that enables you to get site visitors attention by displaying them different images or if you have a promotional video then you could also do that or add that um or the best offers on your website and you could use any amount of slides needed to show your brand and highlight hot deals so the featured products that are on your featured slides slideshow or like slider let you select products from your price sheets to highlight for your customers on the store front so this can be because either you feel you want to sell more or of a particular item or you want to feature a specialty item that you would like to offer to your customers now shopify's target audience is you um they target every retailer creating their websites and it serves services to all revenue groups through different subscription plans and shopify marketing is a strategy of promoting a shopify store and products through online marketing channels such as email and advertise and advertising campaigns an effective shopify marketing strategy builds brand awareness they retain more existing clients and improves customer loyalty and of course increases your sales so a featured slider is a good way to keep your home page fresh to use one or both featured collections areas to include thematic seasonal or finely curated collections that change on regular basis now you could create collections that relate whether in style or functionality to an upcoming holiday or season so let's say it's valentine's day so you would like to sell couple shirts or couple items then you could also add it there and if it's christmas then maybe sweaters sweatshirts that are related to christmas you could also put it there and you could um, offer a color of the week featured collection and showcase items in your store that are in that segment of the spectrum and you could also group products by theme such as a day at the beach let's say that is your theme then you could add all the items that is related to beach for example sandals um hats um swimsuits and many more and then you could also find a creative way to incorporate a variety of product types so these themes can also be tied to the current season or an upcoming holiday and this can be changed often to keep your home page fresh that is all for today so that is how you create your feature slider on shopify I hope this video is beneficial to you. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment below with the best tips and tricks that I have taught you in this video.
Also, please share this video with your friends and family as well as other creators so that you may help them as well. So I hope this was useful and please leave a comment below if there is anything else you'd want to contribute and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.